Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video for you today sharing with you a niche that I found that is starting to trend. But before I show you the niche, I want to show you my two print-on-demand courses that I'm selling on Gumroad. So the first one is a Merch by Amazon Masterclass. It's a step-by-step -step beginner's guide for mastering Merch by Amazon. Um, it's only $19.99. You get 16 lessons and it's over an hour of content. This course is good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on uh, Merch. And then I also have one for Redbubble. It's also a master class, only $19.99. In this one, you get uh, 20 lessons, and it's over an hour of content. Also good for beginners on Redbubble or for people that are struggling to get sales on Redbubble. Here are my credentials on um, Merch. So I'm a tier 8,000 seller. And once this loads, you'll be able to see that I have over 10,000 sales. And I've made over $35,000 in uh, royalties. When we go to Redbubble, the past few months, over the summer, I did pretty good. You'll see 266. 317, uh, 248, kind of low the past couple months, but as we get into Q4 here, you're going to see a big spike again. Um, so if you're interested in those courses, the links will be in the description. I'll also have them as a pinned comment. Okay, now let's get into the content of the video. So the niche that I have for you today is ban the fascist and save the books. So this is a cross niche. It's like a political niche uh, where you're cross niching fas uh, fascist and books. All right, and you'll see here that the, there's only 42 results, so this is uh, there's barely any competition. Here, are what some of the designs are looking like, you'll see this one right here. It was uh, recently uploaded, I think maybe just a couple days ago. It already has a BSR of 230, which is pretty low, um, and it's uh, 15.99, so that's a pretty good royalty for the um, for the BSR. You know, it's making pretty good money. So again, this is what the designs look like when we go to test to see if this is trademarked. We type in ban the fascist and save the books and we hit enter we will see that nothing pops up. On all the other platforms I couldn't really find anything except for the same one on merch but if we go to Etsy not seeing anything except for that same design. If we go to Redbubble nothing even, nothing even popped up for Redbubble it says nothing matches your searches um, so no competition here. T public. There's going to be very little competition as well when there's barely any competition on these other ones. You can be pretty positive that there's not going to be anything on. Well, actually, there's actually a little bit more. Or three, three designs. So again, low competition. Um, if you go to Vexels and if you type in books, or, whoops, this is for flags. I was doing some research on flags, but you could go to Vexels and you can type in like um, you know books or, or you know uh, keywords like that, and you can get some good clip art. I have a um, uh, an affiliate link in the description and let me actually show you some of the designs that I actually came up with to give you guys some ideas on how you can design for this niche because I was kind of in the designing mood so I went ahead and just started designing about I think five or six designs when you find a, a like a, a niche or a phrase that you think is good you, if you can you want to make like as many designs as possible like 10 is a good number because of the 80 20 rule like usually if you make 10 designs you're going to sell you know two basically two will be good sellers so this is my kind of go-to template that I use anytime there's a political niche that comes out. Ban the fascists, save the books. I actually went ahead and uploaded this already, and it went through no problem. And let's take a look at some other design ideas that you can do. So here's one right here where we're using the retro blocks. So you just make four blocks, same size, change the colors, and you can just add in the text. Um, I also did this one right here where you just do the curved text on top. We've seen that a bunch of times with the image. So here are the books. This is the what I got from Vexels. And then you just say, and then you put some text at the bottom. So ban fascists, not books. And let's take a look at a couple other ones. This is also a popular one too where you just have basically um, text all aligned to one side. Now you can do um, you know, uh, retro colors. You can also do white as well. Let me see what it looks like in white. That's another option like that. You can put a period if you want, if you think that uh, looks good. Here is another design style as well. If it would go to it. In my course, I teach you all these uh, design styles because uh, basically you want to have like as many, like 10 to 20 templates just on deck ready to go. So that when a niche comes out, all you have to do is just basically just pop in the, the text. Um, so here's another one. So uh, American uh, flag. Text on top, text on bottom, that's very common as well. And I think the last one right here was the wavy text. This is very popular this year. Um, you know, you'll see a lot of 
designs like this. I could have maybe changed the color to some retro colors. I probably could have added an image, but I just wanted to share with you that uh, design style as well. So that is going to be the niche for today. Um, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I put out uh, videos on a regular basis, basis just talking about like uh, trending merch by Amazon niches. I also have videos about like, um, you know, design ideas that, you know, we want to uh, get up. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe there. And if you're looking for other niche ideas, trending niche ideas, you can take a look at my most recent uploads. Like I had a good, I've been doing, there's been a lot of Halloween ones lately. So if you're looking for Halloween designs, you can take a look at these other videos. You can also go to my um, playlist as well to get some ideas. So if you're interested in that kind of content, consider subscribing, um, check out the channel. And again, if you're interested in my courses, the links will be in the description. I basically show you, you know, how to find niches. I show you how to come up with design ideas, um, keywords, um, cross niche, uh, scale designs, you know, all that good stuff. I teach you about trademarks. So, um, you know, people seem to like it. I want to thank everybody that's been purchasing the courses. So I appreciate the, the support. And that is going to be it for uh, today's video. So thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.